Okay, we're back for some more. Tonight, we have Epicurean. Mm. Now, this yes. is not just any old Epicurean. Okay. Because you may recall, we did an Epicurean sometime last year. I was going to say, I, I recognize this. This is the one we did last year. This one was in uh, finished in single white port cask. So this was a single cask white port. But the one we have today is, if you look at that, there has a, what's that on there beneath the guy's face? A 12. Yeah, that's an age statement. Mm-hmm. 12-year-old cask strength. No? No, I don't think this one's cast strength. I believe this one's at 46. Oh. Small batch release, non-chill filtered. Okay. 46. Right here it says 46. Oh, that's the cast strength. That's not cast strength. Well, what's the cast strength? Cast strength is a lot stronger than 46. Unless it's really old. What was this one? Is this one cast strength? No. It says single cask. That's a single cask. 48%. 48. Okay, so it's a little stronger than that one. But cast strength, we're going to do some cast strength later. Okay, I didn't really know what that meant. Cast strength means it's at the strength that it's in the cask. Because most whiskey, like this here, has been watered down somewhat after it has been emptied from the cask. Okay. So they water it down. Right here it says 48. 1948. Mm. That's the year Douglas Lang started. That's the year they started making whiskey. So they go back to 1948. Okay. But it's 46% alcohol by volume. But yeah, that was a that's very observant of you to see that 48 there. Um, so it's 1948. Do you want to do a price point? Yes, we can do a price point. Sure. Let me go find it. And it's right. I'm prepared. I'm, I'm really unprepared. Look. Here. Uh, Epicurean 12 year old single malt, 46%. 94 99 Plus about $20 for shipping and handling yep. and um, GST and stuff like that. So $115? $115 approximately, yeah. That's what it costs to get it here from Alberta because that's where I got it. Oh, well, thanks. Yeah, so. I like how it comes in that thing. How it what? I like how it comes in that. Well, yeah, that's <clears throat> that's another thing you can put on the wall behind us. Yeah, to hold up your wall. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> okay. Yeah. And here we go. This is the age stated twelve year old Epicurean. And we're gonna give this a try. Maybe I'll read what it says on the back here. Or well, maybe you wanna read it. I don't know. Can you around here? Around here. Yeah, can you read? What does it say? Um, in 1930s, Glasgow City, there lived a man so stylish and witty, with a cheeky grin and a twinkling eye. His, and a handlebar mustache. His drum in hand was seldom dry. Ah. He tempt you with indulgent treasures, fine food, and drink his undoubted pleasures. Ex ex excluding great knowledge and sophistication, our connoisseur deserved admiration. The life and soul of any party, he regaled those present with tales so hearty of wondrous banquets in foreign climes. Sure. Of sumptuous food and dressing sublime. Around the town he gained such fame that Epicurean soon became his nickname. Uh -huh. A marriage of single cask, single malts from Scotland, Lowlands, the Epicurean 12 year. Mm -hmm. Old displays a nose. Do you want to know? What? No, no. no We're not going to know. Let's not do the nose and, and taste yet. We won't do the nose yet. No, what I'll do is pour us a dram first. And there's a little bit more. Oh, shit. We broke a cork. <laughs> That's never happened before. It has happened. Get the thing. It has ha what thing? You don't have a, 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 a cork. wine cork thing? No. So we're going to have to do some surgery on this. It's called MacGyvering. That's right. Hmm. Surgery. 
It's all dried out. Look at that. You know, I was talking to a lady in the mm -hmm. liquor store yeah. the other day. Mm -hmm. Going to get a wine. Yeah. And she says that corks are not really happening. But I got it. See, here it is. I'll just give it to right Good thing we have spares. We have empty bottles with corks. Yeah, so she was saying that that's not really a thing. It's starting to become less and less. Yeah, well, it's not the best, as you can see. This one is all dried out. Because cork is hard to, to find now, apparently. I believe it. Yeah. It would be getting scarcer and scarcer. Yeah, that's time. what she said. Well, the Japanese have an answer, and that's called a, a plastic screw top. That's what the you won't. It's rare that you'll find a Japanese whiskey. Is that the one with the long? Does it have a long thing? No, it's just a, it's just a top. Um, like I mean, like this would it be like that? Because I've seen these in plastic. Oh, like this part. Yeah, 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 yeah. No, the Japanese will have a twist cap. Okay. Like like uh, Alberta Premium. Okay. Nice. So this this could actually be quite an old an old bottling because if the cork is all dried out and breaking like this 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 could have been this could have been for fifteen years on the shelf. Yeah, maybe. That's crazy. Yeah. And then you just went Scottish or English. In English. You said bottling. Oh, <laughs> did I say bottling? Okay. <laughs> The Cockney accent in me is coming out. <laughs> What's Cockney? It's like uh, an ego. No, Cockney is a is a is a is a, is a it's like a dialect. Yeah, okay. Uh, in in London or uh, somewhere in England, anyway. And uh, I'm not really good at doing Cockney. <laughs> oh. But bottling is maybe a bit of Cockney, whatever. Yeah. I have you had enough, mate? You know, like I think that. we should do a show like that. Just the whole dialogue will just be like this. Like a dialogue like this? Yeah, we'll just talk like that. The whole show, we'll just pretend. Oh, no. Okay, we won't. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Oh, I didn't read this part, did I? No, but I think it could be the same. No, I don't think so. It says here, Lowland Blended Malt sc Scotch Whiskey. Okay. A marriage of single malts from Scotland's lowlands. The Epicurean 12-year-old displays a nose that is sweet. Oh. You're reading it again. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> it does smell sweet, though. I don't want to know. It actually smells delicious. Mm -hmm. Douglas Lane regional malts are... They are unequaled, in my opinion. There are few that are better. I don't know of any regional malts that are better than these. Really? Really. Well, that's probably why they've been around since 1948. Yeah, they've been around a long time. I'm getting some barley sugar. Some sweetness. Fruits. Stone fruits. I was going to say apple. Apple, yeah. yeah I'm getting... Like apple pie. Even. Yeah. I'm getting orchard fruits and stone fruits, Yeah, too. I can smell the orchard fruits now. And there's a little bit of a... Uh, mm. More orchard fruits than stone fruits, though. Mm. I'm smelling the apple. Apple and pear. A little bit of a... There's something a bit tropical, too. Like... Um, papaya? Pineapple? Pineapple. <laughs> Pineapple, papaya. Um, it smells, yeah, it smells different. It's a very nice blend, the way it looks. Or the way I'm nosing it. This is going to be a treat. Sugar. Brown sugar? Sugar, yeah. I was getting more of a barley sugar than a brown sugar. but mm. Sweetness, nonetheless. Yeah. Sweetness. Okay. Sláinte. Ooh. Sweet and spicy. Spicy. And sweet. Yes. 
spicy like um mm, that's good it's very good now i'm getting a bit of apricots on the on the on the palate and definitely some white pepper <laughs> i don't know how you can tell the difference between white pepper and pepper. it's just a thing that's it doesn't taste like cracked black pepper, but it tastes peppery. Mm. It's like a white pepper. Yeah, it's got a spicy finish. Yeah. And it's hanging on, too. I still have it on my palate. But that was just going to do that again. That was enough. That was just perfect. Yeah. Not too strong, you know? No, it's perfect drinking strength at 46% ABV. Very pleasant. Fruity, spicy. Oh, it's just right. Beautifully balanced. And then the weird thing, like I said, is if we wait mm -hmm. a minute, yeah, it's going to taste different, like something else. It, it might do that. But not all the time? Some do, some don't. I see. Like Alberta Premium, for example, it always tastes about the same. <laughs> but the more mature whiskeys... Yes. Tend to open up a little bit. And this one has an uh, has a twelve year old. Well, there's some some non age statement whiskeys that do open up. One example of which people might remember if they've been watching my channel, Oban Little Bay. It tasted like Drek on the neck pour like this one. What's Drek? Shit. Uh, Drek. Okay. <laughs> tasted like Drek. I think you need to actually have your own dictionary. <laughs> do I? Yes, you have words that. Uh, it's part of my heritage that I grew up with. Mm. See, at home, when I was a little kid, my parents spoke German to us. Ah, yes. Okay, and Dreck is is a is German for dirt, Awful. for dirt, for shit, for crap. Okay, I'm going to use that. Dirt. I'm going to use that now. And they even made fun, they even did a, somebody made a record called Star Dreck. Oh, wow. Yeah. <laughs> and you bought it. No, I downloaded it. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. Star Drek. I'm smelling. Do you smell a little bit of lemon? Like a little. Is that what you said before? Lemon. Or... Ah, now it now it's getting more citrusy than it was before. Yeah, some lemon definitely. More than the apples and pears that I was getting now. earlier. Yeah, now it's getting more lemony. Yeah, see, that's what's weird. That's about great. It. Ah, it's weird. That's great. It's a new experience every time you take a sip. Yeah. That's why mm. Douglas Lang regional malts are great for that. Oh, this is nice. This is luxurious and spicy towards the end, and the finish hangs on long enough. The people who blended this did an excellent job. Yeah, it's really good. Of making a fine scotch. That's really good. You want to read the rest? No, you did already. No, the rest. What rest? About what the notes are. Oh, we don't... Oh, yes, let's see. Look, we're right. No? Yes, it says, a marriage of single cask strength, single malts... I got that part from yeah. Scotland's Lowlands. Yeah, yep. okay. Um, that is sweet with honeyed barley. Okay. Oh, you said you said barley, didn't you? Yeah, barley sugar. Yeah. Candied peels and toasted nuts. The mouth coating palate brings sugar, like you said. Yeah. With citrus zest. Ah. Oh, ripe peaches. Ah. And a touch of spice, which definitely goes. Quite a bit of spice. The finish shows a cut grass and herbal character uh, quality with coconut flakes and brown sugar. Hmm. Ah, I said brown sugar. You did, yes. Coconut? Well, maybe. Because it's changing as it goes along, right? Yeah. And maybe we'll get a little more coconut as we, you know, try. You know what I'm going to try and do? I'm going to add a little bit of water. Do you, do you think that's a good idea? Sure, let's do that. Let's try a little bit of water. Okay. I'll just give you a little bit. The small batch barley nature toilet. Oh, so, so it's a small batch that they make. Yep. Mm-hmm. Small batch bottling. You know what? I think that you're right, actually. 
about the uh, the forty six percent. Yeah. What is it? It's the best. Yeah. Well, I like a range. The range is from about forty three percent to fifty two percent. Yeah. That's what I like. I think so too. More or less. I think so too. I think forty six. Is... Because because under forty three. It tastes, it's kind of weak and lackluster. There's not enough alcohol to carry the flavors along. Like bland. Yeah. Okay. Like bland. Except if it's something like Alberta Premium, which has the rye spice contributing to it. Mm -hmm. Yeah, Alberta Premium goes. And then. Do we do Alberta Premium yet? I know nobody. I know I did way back when, nobody probably. Nobody wants to see it, but I'd, I, li I'd like to do it with you. I'm sure I did it. Because it's my favorite. <laughs> yeah. And I don't think I've actually sat there and picked up the notes of it yet. Oh. I think I've just drank it. Um, let's have a look here, here and see if we did it. Or if I did it. You must. You must. Okay. Let's let's just, just have a quick peek here, oh. just out of curiosity. Did you add water? Yes, I did. I added just a couple little drops. Alberta Premium. Okay, wait. Um, 2022. 20, oh, that's... 20-year-old. 20 okay, wait, there's got to be more. Show all. Okay, now we're here. Alberta Premium Rye Whiskey. I did it in, oh, God. in January 29th, 2016. Oh, my. And then there was an aged 10 years Alberta Springs, but in 2016. So that's that's been... Uh, no. January 29, 2016. So, and this year is the other one was 2027. That's seven years ago I did it. Yep. So, maybe we're due for a revision. Yeah. Revisit. And didn't you say that you had like a special one or no? Was that something else? Oh, yeah. Yeah. But that's going to be in a couple weeks. I want to do that one because I have a Canadian flight. I got some Wayne Gretzky. I got some 45 year old uh, Canadian club. Maybe we could do that one that, at that time because at they're, that time. they're both Alberta. Yeah. Let's taste the difference. We could do that. Yeah. There's big difference. And look look how many whiskey. Look at the picture. We got a, a blank wall with just a few tubes and boxes of whiskey on the floor. <laughs> yeah, that's anyway, that's going back in time. So we're back here to where we are. And now that we've added some water, what do you think? Um, it definitely changes the flavor. Okay. I, um, I'm getting I'd like to... sweet and honey on the nose. Yeah, sweet. Not really citrusy as much. No. No. Just a little bit sweet. And all that barley sugar doesn't... It, all that bar, that malted barley... I'm not getting a lot of malted barley now. Let's see what it... Maybe maybe water spoils this one. I don't know. It's... Uh, mm. Still good. I think I like it without water better. The... Uh, the spicy finish is not as spicy as it was, and I'm not getting the coconut flakes anymore. Yeah. I like it without water, I think. Better. Without water? Okay. The the That's the verdict for both of us. And do people drink whiskey on the rocks? Some do. I don't. Why? Because it takes away the flavor. The yeah, ice, like the, we just did, though, right? Yeah. But then it chills it, too. Yeah, and that takes, away, that takes away even more flavor. Oh, okay. Well, no, so I was just wondering. first of all, first of all, you're making it cold, taking away the flavor, and you're diluting the whiskey with water. This one doesn't need water. This one's fine as is. I think so too. Yeah. Okay. Well, slunch of a toasted nuts. Toasted nuts. <laughs> Food quick. 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 Food quick.